Hey everybody, Bezad here, back again with Risa. Hey everyone. And today we've got a brand new jean. It's the new offshoot Broken 12 Selvage. It's the latest release, part of the Naked Famous Denim Fall Winter 2022 collection. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know about them, all the specs, all the details, where you're gonna be able to find a pair, our thoughts and opinions. By the end of the video, you're gonna know everything you need to know about mm -hmm. this jean, Broken 12 Selvage. Mm -hmm. We've got some great macro photography. Right. Uh, so if you wanna see like how denim is made, uh, stick around all the way to the end of the video. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel uh, so you can keep up to date with all the latest Naked and Famous Denim news that you can use. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess that's my little plug there. So Risa, why don't you get us started off with the specs? Right, so the offshoot Broken 12 Selvage is a 13.75 ounce Japanese selvage denim. It is dark indigo denim with white weft. Mm -hmm. That's normal there, but it's uh, Broken 12 as the name suggests. We're gonna get into what Broken 12 is in a little bit. And another special thing about this denim is it's actually a remix of Left Hand 12 Selvage. This is uh, one of our core uh, collection. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been running this denim for a long, long time. It's one of the most popular jeans that we sell. Um, but when I say remix of this denim, that means that we have used the same warp, same weft, same yarn count and everything, except the weaving method is right. different. So the difference between our left hand tool selvage and the offshoot broken tool selvage is only the weaving, mm -hmm. right? So the left hand tool selvage is, as the name suggests, a left hand tool denim. And you can tell it's a left hand tool denim because when you take a close look at the fabric, you'll notice the twill direction starts at the top left and goes to the bottom right. On a right hand twill denim, it does exactly the opposite. It starts mm -hmm. at the top right and goes to the bottom left. Mm -hmm. But when you look at a broken twill denim, yeah, there's, there's actually no direction. No direction. Just it thoughts. Just, yeah, it looks kind of interesting because mm -hmm. it looks like a classic pair of, you know, classic denim. Mm -hmm. And when you look on the inside, that's really when you can tell the difference. And you'll see this little zigzag pattern going back and forth. And the reason why you see a zigzag pattern back and forth is because this is actually kind of an alternating twill. It's a mix of both left-hand twill and right-hand twill at the same time. And it was invented to create, well, to prevent a very unique mm -hmm. problem in the denim industry. And uh, that problem was leg twist, right? So back in the early days of denim, pre samphorization if you ever see a pair of vintage jeans, you might notice that the side seams kind of twist in towards the front of the leg. And that was perceived as a problem. And the reason why jeans did this is because the fabric had this directional bias. So it would twist towards that bias. And, you know, nowadays for me, I look at leg twist as kind of a, a symbol of old world type of production. I really like it. I think it's a neat detail. Mm -hmm. So it's like vintage jeans or unsamphorized jeans. You know, sometimes we do some unsamphorized denim and eventually it'll twist in. But broken twill was invented to, well, have no twill direction and therefore it wouldn't twist. So it's kind of a, a neat invention. Right. And when you say unsamphorized denim, it's it's the samphorization process that got rid of the, the leg twist Correct. or the twist of the fabric. Yeah. So it, in, in in the samphorization um, process, obviously they pre-shrink the fabric, so it's not gonna have a high shrinkage, but also they do um, anti-skewing process. That means that they get rid of that, that bias so that it yeah. wouldn't twist once you, you uh, so the jeans. Yeah, they kind of stretch and pull the fabric to get right. the twist out of the fabric. So mm -hmm. modern fabrics don't really have this problem of leg twist. That's to say that they don't really have it because right. it'll still twist a little bit. Right. That's natural. But I mean, and if you look at vintage jeans, I mean, you can really see that twist happening. Mm -hmm. So Broken Twill today is kind of a redundant technology, outdated right. technology. It's not really necessary mm -hmm. for the purpose of preventing leg twist, although it still does do this, right? It won't twist mm -hmm. versus like, you know, directional fabrics will still twist a little bit. Mm -hmm. But what I really like about it is the fact that it's still, you know, made today mm -hmm. and it is still a part of denim history. Right. And so Broken Twill is kind of like the, uh, the littlest brother mm -hmm. of, you know, the main kind of three types of denim that are made left uh, right hand twill being the most popular mm -hmm. left hand twill after that and then broken twill is kind of like you know the forgotten stepchild <laughs> but uh it still makes a pretty pretty mean denim and i like the fact that it is just a little bit different and yeah one thing i really like about it is that you can tell right away 
just how much darker the mm -hmm. denim is compared to left hand twill. Right. And that's because it has less of the weft showing through the front face of the fabric because it's alternating. You just don't have that same, you know, diagonal weave that shows so much of that white weft mm -hmm. coming through. So even though it's the same yarn, the same size, the same everything, it is a darker jean yeah. by its very nature. Yeah. But it's also, we all know, we've all seen left hand twill salvage being faded. If you haven't, I'm sure you can. I'm going to post a photo right here. Right here. Um, it, it's got great fading potential. And it's the same warp. That means this one will have the great fading yes. potential as oh, well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But because it's a little bit darker, mm -hmm. just visually darker, it's the same indigo. Mm -hmm. But visually, it's a little bit darker. I feel like you're going to get an even higher contrast mm -hmm. out of this denim. So I'm right. very looking forward to seeing how people fade this out. My left hand twills are probably the jeans, the naked and famous denim jeans, jeans in general that I've worn the most in my entire life. Mm -hmm. It's my, is it my favorite fabric? It's hard to pick. It's like picking a child, but it's certainly up there. Top mm -hmm. three. Yeah. And it is a beautiful fading denim. This yeah. is going to fade just as beautifully. So whether or not you're coming from uh, being a left hand twill fan, you own the left hand twills, you faded them out, you, you've enjoyed that process. And now you want to see what broken twill can do for you. Or if you're just looking for a great pair of indigo jeans, mm -hmm. maybe you're like me and you and you want, like I picked the left hand twill because I'm like, it's not the right hand twill, mm -hmm. right? I, I want something just a little bit different. But if you're like me, you like having something just a little bit different, this is a great choice for you as mm -hmm. well. Because, well, it is different. You don't right. see a lot of broken twill salvage out there just in general. Yeah. And the thing about this is that like, you can directly compare Everything about this is the same except for the weave, like right. we said. So you can directly compare what weave, different weave does to a denim, mm -hmm. whether that be a fading or or like the texture, you know, like yeah, how yeah. you feel in them yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's it's usual. It's, you know, when we talk about like, oh, in general, left hand twirl gets softer compared to right hand twirl or, you know, things like that. But we're now like experimenting you can, with You this. can actually compare yeah. like apples to apples aside from the weave, yeah. what the the weaving is going to do to affect the way a denim face. And I think that's yeah. pretty neat. That's yeah. very, very nerdy. Yeah. But we're very nerdy, nerdy here. But, um, yeah. So that said, you know, the denim is very smooth. It's got a great smooth texture. And that's because you don't have that twill direction mm -hmm. uh, in the denim. Let's do a little scratch test, a little ASMR for you guys. Uh, we'll compare left hand twill to the offshoot. And let's see if we can hear a difference. Okay. All so right. we're going to start off here. We're going to start off here with the left hand twill selvage. Okay. okay, and now we've got the offshoot broken twill salvage. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. A little similar, I'd say. I feel a little bassier in, yeah. in maybe. Right. I guess, you know what, when we hear it back, when we're doing the editing, I think that's when I'll, I'll really right. notice the difference there. But mm -hmm. you guys let me know. Did you hear much of a difference between the two? So. Uh, the offshoot Broken Tool Selvage is going to be available in our classic three menswear fits. The Super Guy, Weird Guy, and Easy Guy. They will be available at select Nick and Famous Denim retailers worldwide. Check out the blog post linked in the description below here. We've got a full retailer availability list. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Just to mention that right. like all the details of left on 12 Selvage is the same with uh, bro offshoot Broken Tool Selvage. Yeah. So the right. same leather pads, same uh, hardware. Even the salvage, salvage ID, ID yeah. is the same. I, I, was, I was just about to mention, I, I almost forgot. But one thing keen eyed individuals might notice is that the stitching on the sample that I have in my hand is a little bit different than the left hand tool that we have here. That's because this is a pre-production sample and we, uh, we didn't use the right stitching on this one. So uh, for production, it will have the identical stitching as the left hand tool. Yeah. It has the same exact leather patch. We've got the exact same silver metallic hardware and the selvage ID, for those people who may not have noticed, is all white except for a little line that goes through it. And I think, you know, nobody's ever asked me this question, why does this particular selvage ID have that one little line off to the side? And I think the reason why is because when we originally ordered this fabric back in the day, I think they made a mistake. When we first ordered the left hand twill, I think they made a mistake and it wasn't all white and we just ran with it. And it's always been running 
that little error has mm -hmm. always been running with us since. And so we, we're even continuing it in, you know, the offshoot. We did it in the, the left hand to a midnight edition. And so it is a quite a unique selvage ID in the sense that it is mm -hmm. on only one side. You get this, you know, mm -hmm. line that goes a little bit off to the side there. So yeah. anyways, a neat, a neat little detail. Um, you know, I'm going to go on another little rant about that and how what I really like about some of, you know, as far as vintage denim goes, Sometimes mistakes carry forward to bring you, you know, very, you know, interesting bits of history and detail of like how a jean was made. And I've seen documentaries and I've seen all kinds of like photos of old jeans and they, you know, they show how the stitching and all that stuff is kind of off. And the reason why is because this is all very utilitarian and, you know, it wasn't like we were making these bespoke suits that every stitch needed to be exactly right and perfect. So all these little nuances built in the jeans kind of add to the to the flavor of Mm -hmm. uh, of the denim and I don't know it's kind of a hard thing to explain but I, I love it when there are little tiny errors yeah. that I can spot and I can try to imagine why and how that became and why it's still there mm -hmm. yeah so anyways little little off on off topic denim discussion but if you like that kind of denim discussion join us for our weekly live streams here on YouTube Friday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern we preview naked and famous denim product we answer your questions live and we go into all kinds of awesome denim discussions with you guys out there in the uh, raw denim world the fandom mm -hmm. and uh, and that's that so yeah. you um, can you can talk to your nerdy denim you know yeah things. compadres yeah, yeah with that's your it. friends so yeah. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys there, and uh, I'll, I'm going to ask you guys one more time. If you haven't liked and uh, subscribed to the channel, uh, now's a great time to do that. And if you like these jeans, you know where to find them. I'm rambling on, so I'm going to leave it there. All right. All right. See you in the next video, everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.